I am always getting asked about how to layer my jewelry, whether it be my ears, my necklace, my wrist, everywhere I go, it's like, how did you do that? Wait, why did you mix that with that? Wait, what? So today I'm gonna give you a little bit of a step-by-step -step on how I layer some of the jewelry that I, or my go-to pieces and where I love to get some of my favorite, favorite pieces of jewelry. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my necklaces. I think the most important thing, and it's gonna sound weird, is like to start with like your bra or just like something really low, like a V. And I always start with the first one being the longest. So if you guys can see, as you, if you know me, this is my favorite necklace. I'm superstitious, it goes with me everywhere. It has every charm for about 25 years of my life. Again, this one goes the longest. And what's important to do is to layer it. So long, medium, short. A little bit of a key to make it really, really easy is to have safety pins, which you can make something longer, you can make something shorter. You can also use scotch tape, but it gets a little bit in your hair and it kind of can be annoying. But like this has different lengths. So again, the longest one and then the medium. So what I've done here on this one is I've taken it. This one is super, super long. So if you did want to go like this and layer it like this, you can go really long, medium long, and up. You want about two inches to about an inch and a half, one inch of space between each necklace. As it gets lower, you want a little bit more space. So if this is the longest one, this is almost like two or three inches. I don't know if you guys can see. So what I normally do to get that middle level is I just twist it and go around so it gives you like small, medium, and then you can layer it in between depending on how how low that one is. I always like to do a color sometimes, which will pop, which I wanted to show you guys this. Jen Meyer, 14 karat. A lot of people make this necklace and I love it. And I have it in diamond, regular like rose gold diamond, or I have it in the turquoise, which does give like a nice pop. I think what I love most about layering is that I can do my kids' names. I have right now, I have on a little love. And my girlfriends like to give me jewelry. My husband likes to give me jewelry. I like to buy jewelry, so it gives me a chance to wear a lot of different things. One other little trick you can do if you really want to keep everything in place is at the back of your neck, you can take all of them together, and I'm gonna show you. Take all of them together like this, and you put a piece of scotch tape, and you wrap it around, and that will honestly keep them from tangling. Another little tip I wanna tell you guys about is when you travel with necklaces like this, use straws. Put each necklace through a straw and clasp it. We might have five straws, you might have 10 straws, you might have two straws. It's a really great way to take care of your jewelry and not get everything tangled once you um, unpack it. But again, the really golden thumb is start out long, then medium, then short. I love throwing in names, I love throwing in um, color, and again, only one color. So if it's the pop of turquoise, or the pop of pink, or the pop of purple. And again, mix gold, silver, rose gold, platinum, mix all of that. That's also really, really important. I recently got my ears pierced, and I'm not gonna lie, I have never, it still bothers me. I got it last July. There's a company that you guys have to know about. It's called The Last Line. Shelly Gibbs and her husband Teddy own it, and it's just, one of those places where you can really have fun with your jewelry, mix, match, they have all kinds of rings and bracelet and earrings and it's really, really cool and she gives you really, really great ideas on the site on how to wear things as well. I have one up here and I choose to have this one quite flat because I sleep in it. And then I've had this little ear cuff for a very long time. Shelly makes one at the last line, 14 karat, Jen Meyer makes one, Anita Co, and a ton of other great stores and designers. And then I have a little smiley face, and then I have a little arrow. And I think what's, I think why people always ask me, I'm always mixing and matching. Like sometimes I'll have an arrow, sometimes I'll have a diamond, sometimes I'll have whatever. Another little tip is that if you don't have hundreds and thousands of dollars, buy fake diamond earrings. No one's gonna know. There's a place called Jennifer Miller. She makes really high end. You never, ever, ever know it. I'm gonna show you something. These are my fake ones. And these are my real ones. And so I'll wear the fake ones here, 
and the real one's here. Again, it doesn't matter, just play around. And a lot of times you can't tell what's real or not real. And again, don't forget to mix and match. I have XO, a smiley face, um, a heart. I love when people do initials, like you can do drops and dangles. I mean, they're so really, I mean, the gamut is anything. I only have one over there. Let's talk about sizing. Sizing is really, really important. If you have something big in here, everything else should be small. You can do a couple of really thin cuffs, but if you have something thick on, keep everything else small to medium. If you're wearing big earrings, it's, it's best to keep everything else quite simple. I also love really layering like the ear cuffs up here and the diamonds, which are really cool. You can get fake that are super awesome and people will always ask you where you got them. I'll put a few on my blog so you guys can check it out. But again, if you're wearing really, really large, earrings let that be the focus and just do a stud here or something really simple up here let the focus be on the earring it's kind of like if you're wearing dark eyes you can't wear a dark lip if you're wearing a great lip have really neutral eyes bracelets okay I keep one completely clean okay so one arm will be have nothing and one will be layered I'm gonna walk you through how I layer I mix I mix spikes with rose gold with regular gold with diamonds and again, I just layer. One of my favorite places is Amber Lewis, which she makes this one. It kind of gives a little texture because you've got the diamonds and the gold. And then you see this loved one. That is from Jennifer Fisher. She is awesome. She has amazing hoops, bracelet, earrings. I mean, she's so cool and she really has amazing designs. These are both, the spikes are both Anita Co. And again, I've been collecting these for about 10 years now and I, I sometimes take them off, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll go clean and I'll just wear one bracelet. But again, don't be afraid to mix silver and gold, rose gold, spikes, texture, diamonds. Like you can really go the gamut on any of it, take it off. But I normally, if I have a lot on one hand, I don't wear anything on this hand. I also think like just wearing one great big oversized watch is super chic. And I always like women when I see, I saw this girl the other day, she had like a kind of a chunky sweater on and. A, um, I think it was like a, like a gold Nokia and it just looked fun and sleek and it was just, that was just like the one statement piece. A little bit about rings. I get a lot of compliments on this one ring so I'm just gonna quickly talk about it. I think I bought it from Carbon and Hyde and it's kind of like a layer ring where it looks like you're wearing two rings but you're only wearing one and I get a lot of compliments on it. Again, if I have a lot of bracelets on and a lot of earrings, I'll keep my just my wedding bands and a one great ring. Also wanted to show you to my girlfriend, Martina and Ivana make a great, this is more of like my statement ring and this is something that I love where it goes on to the other hand. I also love layering in that way, but super chic. And there it's um, I Am Jewel, which will also list on my site so you guys can go and check that out. This is a ring that I've also had from them for a very long time that super, when I was going through my pregnancies, it would become small, it would become large, but this is also something that's just really simple. I think, you know, if you're gonna do rings, either do one big one or the, all the rest, you can really layer and have a really good time. I'm gonna show you what it looks like if I do it on this one so you guys can see my kids love to go through my jewelry and because i travel so much i use my straws i take straws and i put my necklaces through them and i layer them and i put them in a little ziploc bag it is a great travel hack that i promise you will save your life because these get majorly tangled also i got a little gift from the last line and i know it sounds crazy but I actually love it so much. My little Scarlet, she plays with the... She can play it over and over and over. But what I love about it, I'm gonna have you guys get a little bit of sneak peek. It looks a little messy now because I've been traveling and throwing stuff in there out. But it's just a really great way to keep everything in all your little your little ones and it's got a little um, a little drawer as well but it does keep all the little things that you wear safe and sound okay so home edit you guys know Clea and Joanna if you don't make sure and follow them they're awesome they got me this which I absolutely love 
Um, I think they got it at the container store. You can go on their site and check it out. But it's a way that I really, when I'm at home, this is in my closet next to this with a bunch of drawers and this is literally how I store my necklaces. It keeps them nice and neat and even and it keeps them from tangling. Again, you can just take it out so you can show you exactly what it looks like. Super easy. And we're gonna write all my favorite stores, all the tips that we went over today, other things that I think you guys might um, really like in terms of where I shop and where I get some of my favorite things. But I love the last line. I love Jennifer Fisher, 14 Karat. I love Anita Ko. Um, there's so many amazing designers out there. And again, go high and low. And I just wanted to show you guys something. This is Miranda Fry. I just wanted to show you. It's got a little cross on it. You know, this is really inexpensive. So again, you can layer expensive, non-expensive. You can do all expensive. Just don't feel free to like, everything doesn't have to be solid gold or solid platinum. Have fun, play around, and when it starts to turn, throw it out. This is one of my favorite necklaces that I got for my son, which I'm gonna end with, which I do layer in, and it says, Fat Wifey Mom. I got it from my son and my husband for one of my Christmas presents, and it's called Bat Wifey Mom. It's my Batman symbol. So I'm gonna put it on in an honor, just so you should, can show you how you can really layer this up. That's gonna be my, can you guys see that? And I love actually going with my mom since I was a little girl to estate sales, and she would get like just boxes of jewelry, we'd go in and just find like one or two amazing pieces. So that is how I layer. Those are all my tips and tricks and places that I love. If you guys have any great layering advice, let me know. Any great stores, um, any must-haves. I am obsessed with collecting now that I have more than one hole. I'm, I'm obsessed with like collecting like ear cuffs and cool little earrings that kind of look like your ear a little bit like magic. This video is inspired by you guys. You guys kept asking me to do a layering video, so I'm so happy I did. Let me know um, what other videos you'd like me to do because it makes such a difference when we hear what you guys want and like. Chokers and cuffs are so in, they're so trendy right now. If you guys know of any new trends that you feel like it's on our way, make sure and comment below, let me know um, so I can be ahead of the game. Love you guys, thanks for watching.